Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, I just wanted to pop in today and show you what I'm working on because I am super duper excited about it. Um, this has been a long time coming. So you know how you get to a point in your house where you feel like every room there's a project that you just need to work on and you just have to make yourself stop and check off the list, right? So there is, that's where I'm at. Like there's, it's been a busy summer, which is awesome. Thank you guys. Um, but we've got it. We're just at a point where I have all these projects I really want to work on in the house. So room by room, I'm trying to check them off. So I'm working on one today. Totally fun. This is a great Saturday project. And I saved this for fall because I can put football on the TV. I'm hanging out in my living room and I'm painting my brick. Um, so hold on. I'll show you that in a second. We can kind of see it. But um, so yeah, I know that you guys probably feel like that too, right? I'm not the only one that has projects in every room, right? Right? Yeah. Cleaning out cupboards, painting cupboards, whatever it is, you know, it's just stuff to do. So that also brings me to the other point of what we're bringing you in October. So before the holidays hit, I know that fall, it finally feels like fall here in Pennsylvania and when that happens, everyone gets back inside from being out all summer and you start to look at your house and you start to make your list of room by room, what you want to do. And so that's why for October, I'm teaming up with the Serene Space to bring you Space Lift. How cool is that? It's where we're going to work on one room at a time. So next week, we're going to be working on the entryway and we'll just give you some fun, easy ideas so you can make your space the way you really want it. And I thought if we focus on a room at a time together, we can hold each other accountable and we can have fun. So that is what Space Lift is all about. Um, go back in the feed and look at the video that we did for you to introduce it. And I'll bring you more details as we get started this week. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I hope you guys are too. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to know as we go through each week. Um, like I say, next week is your entryway, so if there's anything you want to see about entryways, um, I'm just going to be giving you tons of ideas, and we'll be working on projects together. So, I'm excited. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. When I did the football mantle, do you remember that I told you that I'm not allowed to paint the brick? And this wall is like the black hole in our living room to me, but my husband really likes the brick. So the one thing he said to me, I can do almost anything in the house, but I'm not allowed to paint the brick. So I got over it and I, that's why I did everything. I'm gonna go up, look, the mantle beam is white and I put the white shutters up there because I wasn't allowed to paint the brick. So we made, we're making the black hole reflect light. But then we were walking around Pittsburgh and I was pointing out to him all of the good brick. Look baby, there's good brick, there's good brick. That doesn't look like our 70s brick. So I realized the good brick always had this lighter grout. Do you see that? Darker grout, lighter grout. Ooh, yeah. So when I finally figured that out, I was able to tell him and articulate specifically, ladies, if you have a husband that has trouble with what you want to do, show him pictures, show him pictures. This has taken years, by the way, years to get to this point, but I am super excited. Show him pictures of what you think you want it to look like and then work together, right? So we finally hit the compromise of I'm allowed to paint the grout or mortar, mm, maybe on brick it's mortar, um, but not the brick itself. Awesome, that's fine. Do you see how much lighter it looks? Yay! Okay, so what I'm doing, in case you want a weekend project, it's actually not taking as long as I thought. This is the whole wall, um, floor to ceiling, but it's not taking as long as I thought. So I've got my little tiny paintbrush like this. And then the color that I have that's matching really well to what I think it would look like is called Millstone. And of course I'm using General Finishes paint because it's just the best stuff ever. Why not? It dries quickly and it's not smelly and it's indoor, outdoor. And all I'm doing, here I'll show you. Let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna flip it around here. It's gonna be hard to, all I'm doing is just getting a little blob on my paintbrush and then like scrubbing it into the mortar. And it's totally cool. This is a super duper forgiving project because if you notice the original mortar, it's already on the brick. So I don't need to be super neat. So 
So that is what I'm up to. Okay. Right? Do y'all like it? Tell me you like it. Okay, I can't wait to show you a finished picture and then I can properly decorate the mantle for, for fall. So I hope y'all have a great Saturday. Let me know what you're up to and we will see you this week for lots of work in our entryway. All right, have a good day.